welcome back to our spring boot tutorial series so in last tutorial we have learned how to use the logger so today we are going to learn how to implement global exceptional handling in our application and this will allow us to catch all exception in one place and we can easily return a standardized error response to the client so if you remember in the last time we have implemented one exception and that name was resource not found exception this was the things we have included but we have not utilized this one so in today tutorial we are going to see how we can use this one currently in our database we have only one user and that id is one so if you try to call user id one you can see their detail but if you try to pass here anything else like true what will be happen you can see we are unable to get the response it is just showing 403 so how we can tackle this error so let's create one class right click new class and try to give the name as global exception handler and give the package name here as exception so we are going to keep all kind of exception at this class level so let's refresh so this is our class now let's move this class to our exception package please try to make sure like all the exception class will be at one place so now we have to use one annotation that is called rest controller advice so this class will handle the exception across the entire application so i am using here one annotation that annotation is called rest controller advice so for each kind of error you can easily implement one response entity that means method argument not valid exception resource not found exception any kind of exception you can easily implement the response entity so let's implement one response entity for resource not found exception so just use here public response entity so i'm going to start with one string handle resource not found exception and try to pass resource not found exception so this ex will contain the all the details of resource not found exception so how we can return that one so for now what you can do just use here return new response entity remove this string and try to pass the exception so what you can do just use here ex dot get message and here we can pass our error status so i can say here http status dot not found and now try to include one annotation that annotation is called exception handler and here you have to add the class so that class is currently name is resource not found exception dot class so let me show you how it will work so whenever user is not there that means user id is not there we are going to throw an error that error is here user not found with id and it will contain the id then it will go to the here and again what will be happen it will try to pass the error to at this place so for now let's comment that line so stop our server and let's see what will be happen now let's call so here you can see we are getting the message like user not found with id2 that means our global exceptional handler is working fine so are you satisfied with this format i don't think so so let's try to standardize this error in proper way so you can easily use in your application also but one thing is sure like our global exceptional handler is working and for now we have just added only for one exceptional class that name is here resource not found exception so how we can customize the response so for that we have to create one response class so right click new class and give the class as error response so here i am going to copy paste four parameter so let me copy paste so first thing i am passing here timestamp that means local date time next one is a status third one is called error and fourth parameter will be here message and this is the constructor and here we have to implement getter and setter so for now i will not add getter and setter and we will see what will be happen if we not create getter and setter so copy this class name come to your global exceptional handler now instead of a string try to change the return type here error response so now we have to add the detail in the constructor so first of all we have to add the timestamp so how you can do so just use here local dot now next parameter you can pass like http status so what we can do just use same thing here http status dot not found dot value so it will give the code of that error 
and the third parameter try to pass like resource not found this one is custom message you can add whatever you want and fourth one will contain the error message so for now copy this one and put it here now instead of returning a string let's return our custom class you can add the semicolon so now what will be happen currently we are just returning here user not found so now i am thinking like it will return four parameter like timestamp status error and message let's see what will be happen so our application has started let's try to call so you can see we are getting four not three error and if you see here we are getting one error you can see no acceptable representation so any time if you are getting this kind of error that means you have to add getter and setter you can see in the console it's also printed user not found with user id but it is not sending response to the postman so let's create our getter and setter how you can create just right click source generate getter and setter select all generate so you can see it will automatically generate it now shut down your server and again restart let's call the api so you can see now this response is better compared to old response so here time is time it will show the current time and in the status we have added http status not found dot value that means four not four and in the error we have given like resource not found and this is the message like what are the messages you are passing from your controller so this is the just basic way how you can implement it similar way you can also add one more exceptional class that will work for if you are getting any kind of other exception this one only for resource not found exception let me copy paste so one more exceptional handler i have added and it will applicable for exception dot class so in case something goes wrong it will automatically come inside this exception class and here we are just doing same thing only we have changed this message and we have changed here internal server error so if you open you can see it will show like 500 so these are the all the error code for http request if you don't know then please go through this file you will understand so in next tutorial we are going to learn about validation so if you remember this api we are using to create the user but we have not added any validation so in case if username is empty or it is less than one or two character we can easily throw the validation error so we are going to see in next tutorial bye